Greetings, viewers! I come before you today as a member and representative of Hattori Hanzo and the Ninjas, wherein I am known as Satori, the Soul Seer. And right now, at this very moment, I see within your soul a deep desire to come visit the land of Aichi, the heart of Japan that is famous for its rich history, culture, cuisine, and also the homeland of many ninja and samurai. By all means, come visit us someday, when the time is right. But for now, I have a question for you. Do you know what a ninja's most useful tool is? Katana, wrong. Shuriken, wrong. His mind and heart, good answer. Given that last time we spoke of Seishin, and how a ninja must temper his mind and his heart to be like a blade. However, today, I speak of literal, physical tools, and therefore, the answer would be... The Kunai! Yes, yes, everyone knows about the Shuriken, the ninja throwing star. And perhaps you are familiar with the Katana, the Japanese-style sword. However, are you acquainted with the ninja's all-purpose survival knife? The kunai! Allow me to tell the world the wonders of this beauty. Let us first recall that ninjas function not as soldiers and warriors, but most often as spies, and sometimes assassins. Therefore, it is very important to travel light and inconspicuously. Carrying around a sword can make you very noticeable and or suspicious. Not to mention, when you're trying to sneak around, infiltrate an enemy stronghold, and or make a clean getaway, a sword can get in the way. Shuriken, on the other hand, are quite portable and concealable, but not very deadly or practical as a weapon. You see, in order to actually slow down or deal significant damage to your enemy, it will likely take more than one, and the more Shuriken you are carrying on you, the more likely it is for them to clink around and make noise. Not very useful for someone trying to sneak about quietly. And besides, as we've discussed previously, battle is not actually a common occurrence for a shinobi. We usually have other missions to carry out. Which brings us to the Kunai Knife! A wondrous tool with great portability and endless possibility. Let us suppose that a ninja is trying to gain entrance to a stronghold, but the gate is locked. What will he do? He'll use his Kunai Knife! The kunai can be used to pick and or break locks. What's this? The lock is too hard to pick and too sturdy to break? Well, in this case also, the ninja will use his kunai! He could cut a hole large enough to reach his hand through and undo the lock from the inside. Suppose the wall is made out of rock and it's too hard to cut a hole in. How will he solve this problem? Hint! It starts with K and ends with unai. That's right. The ninja will use the kunai knife to dig a hole underneath and crawl his way in. But alas, the ground is also made of stone and therefore undiggable. But that's all right. The ninja will simply pull out another kunai knife. Dual wielding the kunai knives like climbing picks, he sticks them into the crevices between the stone bricks of the castle wall and hoists himself to the top and upon reaching the top, he is spotted by a guard on patrol. However, he quickly dismantles the guard with his Kagizume. No, with his... Did you say it? Well, dear viewers, I do hope that I've gotten my point across. And I hope that you have enjoyed learning about the handy dandy kunai knife. If so, please be sure to like, comment, and share. Tune in next time as we continue to explore the various aspects of ninjutsu. And be sure to follow Hattori Hanzo and the Ninjas on all of our social media platforms. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And with that, dear viewers, I bid you farewell. Don't.